G'day guys, Lemon Eating Cow here, and today I am back with another Monster Hunter World Guide, and this time I'm going to be showing you where to get the PlayStation 4 exclusive Aloy Armor and Aloy Bow, which is from the PlayStation exclusive game Horizon Zero Dawn. So for any of you Xbox users out there, unfortunately, again, you have been stiffed on the exclusive content. Hopefully Capcom treats you guys well and gives you some pretty cool Xbox stuff soon, but yeah, whether or not we'll see that is yet to be seen. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, this Aloy set is actually a set of armor, it's not a cosmetic overlay, so its usefulness is rather limited, but it does look kind of cool. As well as this armor, you can also unlock Aloy's bow and then upgrade it into Aloy's war bow. And this is actually a pretty decent bow. So in order to unlock these pieces, you're going to have to hunt for tokens. And these tokens will come from the special event quest, which will run from the 27th of February right up until the 16th, I believe, of March 13th or 16th, around about that date. And this quest is called The Proving. Now the Proving just tasks you with taking out an Anjanath, you can capture him, kill him, whatever. But you have to be Hunter rank 11 or higher to participate in this one. Now each time you do it, you're going to get between one and two of these tokens. I did use a lucky ticket and it didn't really seem to improve the token yield at all at the end of the quest. Now this quest is pretty straightforward, there's nothing really all that special about it. But the thing is, in order to craft the full set, you actually are going to need an Anjanath gem. So while you may get the tokens fairly easily from doing this quest, you're going to need that gem. Which it took me six kills of uh, Anjanath to actually get my hands on one of these gems and hopefully it doesn't take you guys much more than that or hopefully you get it on your first try but this might be a bit of a sticking point for a lot of people. Also, if you wish to make the bow and upgrade it, you're going to need an Anjanath plate and also a wyvern gem. So once you've done the quest at least once, you can come up to the workshop and have a look at the set. It's actually under forge and then full armor sets, and you can look at the requirements of the set and check it out on your character. So even if you are a male character, you will actually get the uh, full female Aloy kit. So this set is pretty basic. It's definitely not an end game armor set, but it mainly focuses on skills that are used in tracking. So you get things like Scent Hound, Slinger Capacity, Stealth, and Affinity Slider. It's a real shame that this isn't just a cosmetic overlay. I hope in the future they start doing some cosmetic overlays because the usefulness of these armor sets is pretty limited. So while you're here, you can also check out the bow that Aloy has to make. Like I said, the original iteration of it, you need a few different materials as well as those Norbro Drave trophies. And you're going to need an Anjanath plate. And then you can upgrade that one into Aloy's war bow. And this one needs, again, those trophies as well as the one Wyvern gem. Now, Wyvern gems come from any of the monsters that don't have a named gem. With the most popular one to hunt is probably the high rank Baroth. So this armor set goes hand in hand with the Palico Watcher set, but unfortunately this quest has already lapsed, so if you haven't got it already, you won't be able to access it, but it does look like a pretty neat combination in the game. So with Monster Hunter games in the past, events quests do eventually make a return, but sometimes they can take quite a while to come back. So make sure you get in and get these quests done as soon as possible. Speaking of crossover events, Street Fighter V is also doing a crossover event with Monster Hunter World at the moment, and you can actually get the Rathalos armor for Ken right now, as well as the Kirin armor for Ibuki, and there's one more which I forget, but as soon as that comes to light, I will have it up on the channel as well, but you can check out me fighting Ken in his Rathalos armor and Ibuki in her Kirin armor as well. Anyway guys, if this video did help you out, please leave a thumbs up. If you've got any comments or suggestions, then leave them down below, and if you haven't subscribed already, then please do so. This has been Lemon Eating Cow. Moot!